which area of the brain is most likely affected in this patient? Angular gyrus, Broca's area, primary auditory cortex, primary motor cortex, or Wernicke's area? A 65-year-old man presents with a one-week history of difficulty speaking and forming words. His wife reports that he understands what she says and can follow commands, but struggles to express himself. Physical examination reveals that the patient has difficulty naming objects and producing grammatically correct sentences. Um, his comprehension is intact. Which of the area of the brain is most likely affected? Okay, so this sounds like he's just having trouble, like I said, uh, verbalizing himself. Um, one of the most annoying things, I think, is in Broca's aphasia, you can't um, form these words, but you can understand stuff. And where Nikki's area, it's you can uh, formulate words, but it's incoherent. And so it was between those two after everything that I've heard. And so I'm going to go into Broca's area as my main answer. Okay, final answer. Yes, sir. Bingo. Okay. Um, actually, uh, you, you hit it right in the nail. So clinically, if you want to talk about this, because um, they like asking clinical questions now, like I said, they're pushing towards that. Broca's, you're going to see your patient's going to be very frustrated. The reason is they can understand, but they cannot verbalize. So imagine that you you understand everything's going on, but you cannot communicate back. That's going to be very frustrating, right? That's Warner, very, yes. Yeah. So Warnicke's area, right? Like they can make these words, but it's all jumbled. It's flowing, but it doesn't make sense. But um, they don't get really frustrated because their understanding is not good. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. people with Warnicke's, they think that they're communicating great, right? But obviously they're not. So they're not going to get frustrated. Broca's, they can't communicate, but they can understand, which is extraordinarily frustrating. So yeah.